Yeah, I've noticed some some moves knock back. I wondered if that was like a thing or if it was a mechanic I didn't understand. So that's good to know. It's knocked back. So right now, I don't think oh, Helpful Sanfru is going to be anymore. I think we probably want to drop Sanfru in favor of our Magic Bird. Yeah, until we get to Surge, when Sanfru will make a dramatic reappearance, um, we'll train Sanfru up again, probably on the way back down to Surge. But uh, for now, we'll just leave Sanfru as it is. We need to get some items on Pidgey, though. One of the few hundred things you coded for this one day and forgot about. Ah, <laughs> I see. Yeah, it's a really interesting mechanic. Definitely, um, pretty unique. these abilities would be good. I kind of want to save them until I have a bit more of a team establish. Figure out sort of what roles things are going to go into. We'll use those. Also grab a berry. Ah, well, it's so much money. It's so much money. I don't I don't have the money yet to feel super confident about spending it. But yeah. yeah. I do I, I I do have a hoarding problem, it's true. There's only 20. It's it's just mostly TMs. And then these. Yeah. They're, just, they're all pretty good. Like and five thousand gold. Yeah, but I- well, that's true, but I didn't really want my Psyduck to be KOing stuff, I guess. I- I was, uh, planning to cut out Psyduck later on. Although that- it is a fair point, it would have been a little easier. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. I wanted to go- speaking of TMs, I got the Pokemark. Actually, no, how much money do I have? Quite a bit. Nice. Buy a few of those here if I want to. Let's see. Yeah, Psyduck seems like a mid, a mixed attacker. Seems like a mid, uh, a bit, yeah, but a mixed attacker. I wasn't really wanting to um, focus too much on those. The signal Beam is kind of interesting. Wow, strong. Strong neutral attack. It does offer special or does offer super effective hits against dark and psychic types. Don't see too many of those. We'll see them later. Mudshot is pretty cool. Hmm. It kind of hits similar coverage to slightly better coverage than. The grass move. The Mudshot doesn't hit water. Lots of Gen 1 Dark types later. Okay. Ah, yeah. So then probably I will come back and get Signal Beam. That does seem like a, a good move to just have for coverage. Pikachu. Other moves. Hmm. So the question is, do I want to swap out Growl or Th Hail with in favor of Mud Shot right now so that I can hit electric types and steel types. Um, I mean, being able to hit other electric types would be pretty sweet. Let's see, uh, let's see what other kind of stuff we might want to do. 
I think that um, this bell sprout might be around for a little while. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Yeah. Well, I wondered if you had. I noticed you had added in dark moves. Um, so I wondered if you had added in dark types, but I guess not. Flurry and attack bolt. Magical leaf will be pretty good. Very expensive, though. Oh, yes. Those TMs are cheaper than I thought they were. When does it learn stuff? Mm, so it actually does not learn leaf flurry. Which makes sense, I guess. More of a physical attacker, I think. Leaf Flurry is rich. Oh, it's a mixed attacker. Okay. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping it would be more of a physical attacker. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> gotcha, gotcha. I mean, that's still pretty good strength and magic growth. Like, compared to a lot of things, this thing is dishing out some damage. Bit of paper. Honestly, not that fast, either. Do I want this more than I want an Oddish? I'm not really sure I want that more than I want it. Bioplume might be a better choice. Something more focused on special. And I think we can get Oddish soon. Oh, um, uh, so I guess let's hold off on the Bell Sprout then. We don't want a Bell Sprout. You know, come to think of it, Grass and Electric offers very similar coverage. I'm not sure we want a Grass type at all if we're gonna run Pikachu. Doesn't really do that much for us. Let's see. So maybe without the bell sprout. Room for one more. Mm. Do we want a water type? Maybe we get a magic card. Get a magic card. Although not here. I want to wait for the level 19 magic card. So those are much easier. Uh, Hmm. Let's uh let's bring out the bee drill just for the fight against uh, our rival here, and then I think we can go catch Cedra, or uh, uh, rather a horsey. And that would be a good place to start. Water types. Horsey is pretty good. Oh, I have an Oddish? Interesting. Oh, right. That was kind of why I wanted another grass type was Misty. That does make sense. Ember, double hit. Interesting that it has access to the special attacks there. I think really the I want a, a, some attacks for Nira. Low pure. Okay. Oh, I would have missed it then. Okay. Oh, we don't get the special attacks for Nira. So that's not until uh, the next gen. Or maybe Nidorino is the one that can learn those. Act balls could be a good move. Yes. What's our options? Nothing. 
Well, then in that case, I guess the big thing would be considering whether I want to do Growl or Tail Whip um, in exchange for coverage against electric types. Um, but I guess I don't need to make that choice yet. Always. I'm not fighting Surge. But I'll be sure to stop by for a mud shot before I fight Surge. Truth. Yeah, uh, it really is. It, gotta agree, Raimo. Glad to have you. Let me see if I have an oddish. I think I grabbed one. Might not have. Oh, it looks like I didn't. Dang. Uh, I'm a ways off of uh, being anywhere near Pewter again. I will go back. Oh, hmm. Maybe we do raise the bell sprout for now then. That seems like a good option. Let's see, do we have, um. At least. Harden is an interesting one. Oh man, Icy Wind on Pikachu would be disgusting. See. Okay, well. I think this should work. Okay, well, let's go take on Gary. Now, if you have not tried this game before, Gary, he will ambush you. It's not great. So make sure not to go too far into his range, as long as you uh, stay pretty far back. Be fine. I don't think he can actually get to us from here. Hey, it's what's your face? I stomped you back in Viridian. Hmm? What are you blabbering about? I have some steam to blow off. Let's go. Okay, so he summons his bonds here. Hands has some. Uh, hmm. Well, we can knock out the Pikachu. Start. I think we're not going to make too much progress beyond that. Up. So, from here, we need to just see what might survive. Sure. Hmm. We could do 31 damage. I really want to take out that Beedrill. Ideally, we take out the Beedrill. So that works if the Leer hurts. So I do an AoE Leer. Then I have Pikachu. Thundershot. And then I have Charmander come up here and drop an Ember. Yep. No more beach. That's one of the biggest threats there. AoE 2 wave. Yeah, that was another big option. AoE Thunder Wave could really. Do a sand attack there, just take down that skill a bit. Maybe we'll get lucky with the glancing boat. And uh we should have brought B drill. I'm gonna set this level nine thing in range. Maybe they target it. Oh they do! That's nice. Okay, and we still have a Pikachu. Excellent. Zap this uh Squirtle then. Down to one. Hmm. Ideal. Because I don't think there's any other thing that's going to do more. I guess we could AoE the Thunder Shot. That's probably the right call. I 
And then maybe AoE Dust? Hmm. hmm. Doesn't kill anything. Only seven. Something's getting knocked. Like I really want this Abra to go down. And just Dragon Rage it, but it's fairly low to hit. Do something like this. Oh, it's not quite enough. Eleven, exactly eleven. Well, let's do that then. Pidgey take that. I think what I need to do is like an AoE Amber or something and just put a. Oh, that's perfect! Yes. Which does a little bit of damage to the Squirtle and knocks out the Rattata. Now I can gust the Squirtle. Oh! A few KOs there. I could have won. These rules are dumb. I already beat Misty, you know. You didn't stand a chance against my team of Pikachu. Smell you later, loser. Alright. Several Pikachu, I guess. But... Now we can just heal up. Good. head up to the next map and see about getting ourselves a horsey from this Gyarados down here. Uh, now, these Magikarp, they're awful. Don't get them. They take way too long to level up. There's also Magikarp, which you can get here. They're okay. They're passable. They're level 16, but there are later level 19 Magikarp. That's the one that we want, because those don't take nearly as long to level. We have to wait longer to get a Gyarados. So we won't have a Gyarados going through um, Rock Tunnel, which is kind of eh. It's harder, but um, we can get a Gyarados after Rock Tunnel. That's just fine. I don't know about trying to train a Magikarp on Lunatic. That sounds really hard to do from 16 all the way up to 20. 19 to 20 seems a bit more feasible. I mean, you can at least chip for one damage every now and then. And at the time you get it, too, getting a, getting any Mon up to level 20 right now is not very easy. I'm level, like, 14. Yeah. The 12 is a bit high. Let's start this fight. Here I come. I won't be easy. Oh, hey, I got a follower. Thanks, Raimo. It's, uh... Glad to have you here. Alright. I need to, uh, make it, like, make a sound or something. When that happens, I don't actually know how people do that. I am a noob. Uh. Or there is a way. Hmm. They got really good positioning here. So one thing to note is that the enemies can't move through this sign, just like we can't. So we do have a little bit of a choke point here. But this Abra, Abra is pretty spooky. That is so much damage. 27. It's got to go down. Can't let this Abra stay in the fight. That just won't do. So maybe we have... What's it? Bellsprout. AoE attack. Get some experience. So, 
and see what we can do about this aircraft. Um, hmm. <laughs> Not seeing a whole lot of ways to get into melee with it. Oh, I guess that's something. That brings it down to 9. Can we do 9 damage to it from range? We have, um, actually, maybe? Dragon Rage? Dragon Rage doesn't count! Oh, um... Hmm. Well, that is not good. I think... Bad. Well, what we can do... Okay, well, we can do something like that. Not ideal, but at least it does go down. Could use an AoE attack. Okay, there we go. Go oh, with the Abra. Another magic point on the Chiyoji. That's kind of kind of hilarious. Which so you always in games like this you want to make sure to use your attacks that are more limited first. Use this Pidgey. Well, not. Pidgey could <laughs> take out this rat, but the Pidgey cannot. Hmm. Oh, you know, I can do, um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised that that paralyzes my Geodude. I didn't think it would. Regardless, now we can get the KO with Pidgey. Nice. Magic speed. That's cool. Step up here and just lob off an ember. Okay, revive the counter. Meter on starting to get pretty bulky. A lot of HP levels. Yeah, 65%, not bad. Um, but we are pretty badly hurt. If we go get a heal, come back and do the next one. Because work. Yeah, that makes sense. Perfectly reasonable explanation there, I'd say. This would be nice and healed up now. We can go back and dip on another round. This guy. We don't have to fight anything. There we go. All right. Um, it thinks that we have to fight. <laughs> oh, so we'll wait for that with a rematch. Call everybody. We can move now and call again. We want to make sure to be mindful of the next turn. Let's step into the. Okay. Don't know necessarily. <laughs> I wonder if like coming behind this will make this trainer go forward or what the behavior will be. Just out of curiosity. Stand perfectly still. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I'll stomp you. Hollywag. Hellsprout and Horsey. Okay. 
Well, we only have melee grass attacks right now. Form of a flying whip. That's pretty decent team. Yeah, and now I think that can pick up a KO for Belsprout. That's cool. Take the shortcut. Oh, because I have a flying type. I can just fly over it. I didn't think about that. What you're saying? That's a really good fight. Hopefully nothing went wrong. Okay, let's see what happens next. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need to convince. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. You rats. I don't know, man. I'm not a big fan of rats. And shock them with electricity. for the Pikachu. Very cool. Let's drop down some damage with a gust. A little bit of AoE in. I think Hopefully that's enough for a double kick. Need a little more. Bellsprout coming in clutch with the over here. Level for it. Nice. Those AoE moves are great for leveling up. Double kick. Big counter it. We'll growl at that one. Let us take, take it out with Ember. We can almost take out the other one, too. Ember is a straight line. So let's just take this one out, then. A little more magic for the Charmander. Very nice. Pitchy goes down. Whittle away at this a little bit with some damage and debuffs. Thank you. Oh. Sure. oh, didn't get the KO there. That's alright. We can use other Mon that we want to get KOs with. So good. Yes. Correct. TM over there. 
fire in some countries. Oh, we forgot to get a, uh, forgot to get the TM. Anyway, there's, um, an item off to the left. flyer again. Let's go check out that item to the to uh, the west. And then also <laughs> go back up to Nugget Bridge with a full party this time. Stop just outside the range, then move up and fall. We have seconds. I'm not sure if this is good or bad, but we're gonna catch it and I will check out off screen what the stats are. It doesn't actually fail. this item. Hurry. Oh, is that like the Berserk gene? Like, uh, it was with... Uh, you could find with the item finder? Oh, interesting, yeah. Gives you a boost to your stats, but, um... Makes you take damage. Hmm, I wonder if that post combat chip can knock you out, or if it just leaves you at one. A lot of those post-combat ship mechanics will do it one. If that is the case, then that item is really, really good. <laughs> if it'll knock you out, then that item is maybe not as good. For melee, I guess. Attack speed, defense, resistance. It doesn't give magic. Oh. I noticed something also. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> that you can't uh, go up to the next map from there. I thought that's what you meant by take the shortcut. Call on up decline both these.
an attack. Very cool. I have a feeling we may learn wing attack soon. Doesn't actually learn wing attack. Oh, you know, that's probably for the best because this is more of a special attacker. Air slash. Color, I think. Neat. Another, uh, another item there. just isn't marked. Oh, I just didn't end the turn there? That's hilarious. I thought I, I thought it wouldn't work. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, all right then. You are to fear chat. fairly late where I am. I've had kind of a long day. I think I'm gonna wrap it up. It's been really fun. A couple hours. I'm um, definitely gonna stream some more in the upcoming days. Wanting to um, play some more of this. I'm having a blast. I'll do um, probably a couple more streams just dedicated to this. Maybe even make a video series out of it if you're cool with that, Vesley. I think that'd be really neat. I've been planning on turning um, a lot of my different playthroughs of games that I've been making. And the music I've been working on doing too. Um, uh, some videos for YouTube. But, uh, yeah, yeah, if you haven't already, um, not just you, Vest, but anyone else who happens to be watching in the future, checking out the VOD, uh, please click the follow button. If you made it this far, you are absolutely legendary. Really appreciate having you here. Um, and, uh, you know, VOD check. If you haven't, if you haven't had some water recently, have some water. We, uh, do some self-care, get a stretch in, um, got a pet, show them some love, give your, uh, family, loved one, some affection, all that stuff, but I will see you next time. Good luck.